Hello and welcome to episode 138 on the Online Trainers Podcast. Today's topic is, what's your unique offer? Hello and welcome to the Online Trainers Podcast, where we go behind the scenes to uncover the latest tactics and strategies top trainers around the world are using to get more clients, dominate their marketplace, and get their clients amazing results. There is absolutely no fluff here. I'm your host, Lynn Trin. Now, I've got a really cool topic I want to speak about today, only because... There are tons of personal trainers out there. I'm sure if you're one, I'm one. We're trying to continually help more people and obviously help coach more people and help get them results. But as you probably already know, the market seems to be quite saturated. In fact, there are people running challenges. There are fitness models selling their eBooks. There's Herbalife, there's Isogenics, there's Nike. There's a ton of people out there that basically are selling the same thing you're selling. If that's the case, then our products and services start to become a commodity. Okay, it just becomes a race to zero. And we never want it to be a race to zero because that's not fun because the person with the biggest budget generally wins. The biggest company usually sweeps them all up. And so as the small guy entering the marketplace, if you're still looking out there and, and if you're struggling to get clients, look, it's not your fault at all. Okay, I completely get it. There are experts telling you out there that you know you should be blogging, that you should be on Instagram, that you should be posting videos, content, all the day, every day. But the one thing that they don't tell you to do is they don't tell you to have a look at your offer. And what I mean by that is, what is your offer and how is it unique? How is your offer unique? Why is it different in terms of not only your eyes, because the marketplace doesn't care about you. Reality is, what the market cares about is, does the market perceive your offer to be different? Does the market perceive your offer to be better? Does the market perceive your offer to be more valuable than what's already out there? And I'm going to give you an example because as soon as I got this, the game changed for me. It became easier to sell my products. And not that, it's the best salesperson can't sell something crap, something that's a commodity that you can get somewhere else for cheaper. It's like a salesperson trying to sell you a Big Mac or a burger for $10. And you're like, but wait, I can I can get a Big Mac for five bucks. Why would I pay $10? It just doesn't make sense. And, and you know what? A very skilled salesperson can. The best of the best in the world might be able to pull it off. But for us average people, instead of growing our sales skills to become awesome, we need to have a look at our unique offer. We need to be looking at what we're presenting to the marketplace. And so many times, especially when I'm helping personal trainers out, I notice that they're selling the same thing as every other personal trainer. And so a lot of the times it's very hard to distinguish. And a lot of the times it comes down to who's cheaper, who do I like better, who do I like working with? And that's where the future is going. I mean, if you're listening to this podcast episode, you've probably uh, got the technology, you're on your phone, you're probably listening to this in the car, on the way to the gym. If you're like me, you'll listen to it during your training sessions, which obviously is a super great idea because you've got me in side of your ears and your brain. With that being said, I really wanted to talk about your offer. What's unique about it? What's different about it? That do your prospects see that if they do not enter and they do not join your team, they do not take up your offer, that every other offer out there is not going to get them the result that they want. They're pretty much down a two-barrel road, okay? On the left side, they can take the red pill and that red pill can lead to all the things that they've already done. But on your side with the blue pill, they can join your system, they can take up your program, they can start to rebuild something that they've never actually thought of before. The question for you today, when we look inside of this, a lot of the times, us fitness coaches, we're essentially all selling the same thing at different levels. And what I mean by that, we're we're selling more energy, we're selling more confidence, we're selling more muscle. Um, if, If you're a strength person, we're selling a higher metabolism, we're selling the ability to get into shape, we're selling the change of your physical confidence and vitality, really. And that's the core fundamental of it. But the way your prospects need to see you is is ultimately a little bit different. And what I mean by this is if you can differentiate yourself from the marketplace, you will have a better chance at selling your product and service. And what I mean by this is when I built PB City in the core 2015 and 16, I focused on one thing. I focused on the the main thing that I was offering was the ability to build a stronger, faster V8 engine, to build more muscle, to eat as much as you want because who in their rightful mind would want to die for the rest of their life? Who wants to be on 1,500 calories? And so the new opportunity I presented, the uniqueness of my program was, hey, are you sick and tired of dieting? Hey, have you tried dieting and it hasn't worked out? 
Well, now is the time to actually put in the work and get your ass into shape and actually reconstruct your engine through strength training. And and how we're going to do this is we're going to do a complete engine rebuild. And over the course of six months, I'm going to get you a bigger, stronger, leaner engine. And with a bigger, stronger, leaner engine, you'll be able to lift more, you'll be able to eat more, you'll feel better, you'll feel harder, you'll feel firmer, you'll feel sexier. Do you want that? And that was the offer. Because what was on the market for men was all of this was if it fits your macros, was intermittent fasting, was eat clean, eat six meals a day, was training, power, bodybuilding, all of this stuff, right? And that's good. But remember, what you need to remember at the core fundamental of things, most personal trainers are selling essentially the same thing. It's how your market perceives what you're selling to them. Is it something new? Is it something that they really want? And the reality is when you start to craft a perfect offer, you need to have a look at all the things that they don't want, all the things that they have to do to get in the shape. And then you tick out the things that they don't want. They don't want to diet. Okay. They don't want to eat clean. They don't want to do this. They don't want to do cardio. So you can start to list out all the pains. And so your offer and your uniqueness can be counteracting that. So I know this is a really hard one because this is, if you get this right, it will make or break your business. If you get this wrong, it will break your business. If you get it right, it will completely make your business. What I mean by that is through your marketing, through your messaging, through your Facebook content, you should be hammering down this one mechanism, this one unique mechanism that you have to get them to their hopes, goals, and dreams. What is your one unique mechanism? What is different about you? And if you can't find anything different about you, then today's topic, today's homework is to sit down and actually go, holy crap, what do I know that's cool and that's unique, that's different, that I can help people get into shape without experiencing all the pain that they've experienced in the past and write it all down and start to brainstorm. And I know this isn't going to be an easy exercise. I know, in fact, this is going to make you a little bit more confused. But in the reality of this, would you rather be confused or would you rather be broke? I'd be confused and then I'd start to search for answers. And inside of those answers, that's when I really come out on the other side a lot stronger. And that's what you see the most successful companies inside of the world do. They make incredible offers. They make incredible claims. They make things that actually, and they make these claims and they fulfill. So this is really going back to marketing 101. And the first thing you look at selling any, selling any product is what is the actual offer? And does the marketplace want it? Has it been presented? Is there a demand for that? And of course, we know with health and fitness, of course there is a demand. But the second thing is, it's wondering, hmm, has the market seen this offer before? If yes, well, skip it. How is your offer different? How is yours unique? How is your unique mechanism going to help them get into shape by avoiding a lot of pain? Okay. So that being said, I hope that gives you some, uh, you know, some different things, different aspects into what you might not be doing right now. Why, why selling the same thing over and over again hasn't worked and, and what needs to change Because we are at the end of March in 2017 and if your business hasn't taken off, you can't keep doing the same thing and expect a different result. I know you already know this, but the point of listening to this podcast is to gain further insights as to actually what does it really take to build an online business. It's it's pretty tough, my friends. It's pretty tough, okay? So with that being said, come up with your one unique offer, feel free to hit me up inside of the Online Trainers Club. Feel free to post it in there and come up with your unique mechanism to get your clients' results. All right, if you enjoyed this podcast, please leave me a five-star review on iTunes and feel free to leave a review and that way I can respond and I can take that on board in developing content to serve you. Now, if you're not a part of the Online Trainers Club on Facebook, please do yourself a favor and be a part of the conversation. That's where I add daily tips, tricks and strategies on how you can build out funnels, how you can get more clients and ultimately become a better online coach. Thank you for listening.